this is Nikki and I'm here to share the messages that I get from spirit and from all of our higher selves that are on this journey to love. And so what I'm going to do today is a is the new uh, new moon in Libra today. And so I'm doing a conversation with the um, Divine Collective and also the universe to ask what is it that we need to know? What do you want to tell us? And also what do you want us to focus on? And so I'm using a combination of these two Colette Baron Reed cards, which I love. And they are one, the Enchanted Map, because they are your map home. And the other one is um, the Wisdom of the Oracle, which is all about creating fairness. And basically balancing, which is what we're doing, right? We're balancing the, you know, love versus fear and hoping that we are tipping the scale. And this is an opportunity now to walk into more and more love, which is all represented in the conversation, which I'm going to go through now. So the first thing is, is what do you want to tell me today? And it is, <laughs> look at this, it's number 43 card, which is details. And the 43 card is number seven, which is your soul. And also it's about taking action. It's also number one, which is the, you know, the basically the beginning of the pack. So at the moment, this is a real opportunity to walk into the new moon, to set your intentions out, to release everything that you don't need anymore, and to really start living the life of your dreams, because you have the power of the universe behind you to make these things happen. So it is about writing it, you know, basically writing it in detail to really focus on the details of what you want your new life to be like. You know, what do you want to feel? How do you want to be? What do you want to see? All of those things, you know. Really, really, really write it down in detail. Take action to create the life of your dreams because now is the time. Now is the time if you look at astro astrologically, if you follow the Leo King, then watch the Leo King because, you know, he's really good at explaining what's happening in the planets and we're moving into a time over the next number of years, which is really important to actually step forward into your new life. So, which is why this is so perfect, because it's about taking actions and really focusing on the details of the life that your soul wants to live. So the next one is, how are you feeling? This is a question to the Divine Collective, which is, how are, you, how are they feeling about themselves? And this is about that they, they're coming up to a crossroads, right? There is a choice that needs to be made. And this is also for everyone, right? Because you have a choice. Do you want to live in fear? Do you want to give in to the fear? Or do you want to live your highest and truest self, right? Which is basically your soul path. And so this is about, you know, there is a fork in the road. There is a decision that needs to be made. Which way am I going to go? Um, so for all of those who are you are in your, you know, if they're in karmic relationships or anything where they need to be making choices, this new moon is going to force that into them um, because they want to, because the whole point is, is that they, need, they will be feeling out of balance and they need to create balance within themselves. So this is what this is saying. The decisions will be forced because they will have to want to create balance within themselves. So, but how are you feeling about us? <laughs> and this is why it's so perfect, because how they're feeling about you is that you are their leader and you have the loyal heart, which is, if you look at this as well, I love this card because this, this is like a maze going up the hill to the tree. Now, if you follow my videos and everything goes from one to the next to the next, and we had the song the other day about running up that hill by Kate Bush. And all of the, you know, and this is also ducks. You can see the, the little ducks going up towards the tree. The crystal grid I do is based around the forest lovers who are entwined together for eternity around the oak tree. So the sacred tree wisdom is so, is really, really intrinsic to everything that I do. Because we're using the sacred wisdom of the trees to actually ground this unconditional love onto the planet. <laughs> Which is why it's so perfect that what they're feeling about us is that we are the ones that hold a loyal heart for them and they for us. And also that um, they are following the leader, which is basically us, right? We are, we're leading each other's energy up the, up the hill. So every life is a teaching tool for others. Your authenticity and honesty are an example to those around you. 
You're being called to lead others by example. Your wisdom has been earned as a result of your bravery in the adventure of your life. The experiences of battles won and lost, places discovered, tears shed, and joy revealed have placed you in a unique position to be of service to others. Your suffering has been crystallised into a talisman of wisdom. Now you must share it by being fully authentic. You'll lead others into the light. You'll be required to, vi to vi divulge some things about your past so that you may help someone else. Lead with love. There is another message here as well. Look to those whose great character and accomplishments you admire. Emulate the leaders you respect. You will then, in turn, have more to offer. Well, how lovely is that? Because they're basically saying that you're the loyal heart that they're following and they're following it up the hill because they want to ground this love onto the planet as well because it's number 40, which is four. And it's all about creating stability in that. Sorry, I'm shaky. <laughs> I'm lent in a funny position. Um, okay, so just lovely, right? Because the loyal heart is also about wisdom. We hold the inner wisdom within. So, and this is gorgeous because the next question I asked is, what do you want us to do to help us into our reunion? And this is about seeing the higher perspective and also to breathe and to go within. So you see here the breathe card is all about going within to realize that actually your twin is right within you. And the other thing is remembering to see the higher perspective because from the higher perspective,